Hey everybody, I'm going to make a video. I'm not going to promise that it's going to be short, but uh, this has to do with developing AR lenses on TikTok. Uh, currently, there is practically no one, well, there's very few, there's like one or two people that have tried to get this information out there. Um, it's not something that's ready. It's not widely available. And there's got to be some stuff you got to do in order to get it to work. And then when you do get it to work, it doesn't really work all that well. So fair warning, it's bad. Okay, it's good, but it's mostly bad. And I'm going to show you. So first off, if you go to the TikTok website and you search for a program, this program is called Effector. E-F-F-E-C-T-O-R. Effector. Now, if you look on the TikTok site, you won't see Effector anywhere. Like, you can go through this whole thing and there's no way to download it. Even if you Google it, Effector, and I'll put TikTok. So TikTok's here, how to add effects. Uh, this just not much on this um, particular subject. Now I did uh, get Hola. a uh, tip from this guy right here. Uh, thank you for the tip. Uh, it really helped me. Subscribe to this guy's channel. Subscribe to mine, but subscribe to this guy's channel. He's really good. Uh, but he's the one that, that informed me about this whole thing. Now, to, to, to get right into it, if you live in the United States or the, or the Americas or whatever, you can't use this software. Well, you can, but you can't download it. And the reason why is because this is the URL on where to download the program. Now, when you go to it, and if you're in, a, if you're in the United States or a region that's not supported, this is what will happen. The access is not supported in this region. Um, I wasn't going to let that stop me. So what I did was I downloaded a VPN. Uh, this is a free one where you don't have to pay anything. Uh, please don't ask me how to install it. I don't really know. I YouTubed it. Just install it, get it to work, and I'm going to connect to a Russian site. So my computer is going to think I am connecting from Russia. So I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to agree. So it's going to it's going to try to get me. Oh, great! Hang on. Click on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you see what a pain that was? So now uh, I'm connected to, I think it was Indonesia. So let's hit refresh to see if it allows me to go to the site. Okay, this is an extremely slow connection, but it looks like it might be working. It's just taking forever. Okay, now it let me onto the site. Um, this is the URL and when it thinks you're in a region that allows you to download this program, it's going to come up. And what I did was I downloaded the windows version here. I'm on windows 10 and, uh, I made attempt to download the Android version through here, but it didn't work. Uh, so I installed it and I'm going to show it to you. This is a factor. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 like Lens Studio, but very very uh, basic. Uh, it has a lot of the aspects of the UI of uh, Lens Studio, but nowhere near the amount of um, features. Uh, Spark AR, Lens Studio, and then this whatever this is. It's it's really bad. So I'm gonna walk around. 
this little UI real quick and I'm going to show you how very limited this program actually is. So uh, I'm going to click add and this is all that you can really do and it's not very much. There's 2D stickers. I'm going to click on human face. Now I would have liked to throw in a, a animated GIF to make something animated on the face. It won't let you. So if you select files it only allows one PNG file. So I'm going to, I don't know, I'll, I'll use this. It's blurry, but who cares? But see, I can't, I can't select anything else. It's only PNG. Um, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> so it very, very limited. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add something else. Uh, you can do a cat, but again, only one PNG, no GIFs, no JPEGs, nothing. Um, general effects. I mean, this looks very, very, very basic. Um, uh, face stretch. Now, I I do I do like this this portion of it because it's very simple so you have the face template over the actual face and you can just kind of like stretch it out or do whatever you do but it's super simple like that um yeah that's probably my favorite thing about or the only thing i really like about this that's how simple this is so you you can do not much here hair color like whatever um matting i don't even know you can do like a foreground effect a background effect face distortion see this is like a liquify kind of effect you know i don't like oh see there's a mirror i was going to say i don't like that it mirrors but you can turn the mirror off right there that's cool so, and then system time. I don't know why you would. It says 2019, but over there, and it says 2020 over there, which is not right. So, let's go back real quick, and I'm going to do the face stretch. Whatever. I'm going to do something real quick. Now, another thing I like about this is the, the event tab. So, there's a tab here called event. So, uh, it's very simple. Now you can have the trigger right here. Uh, I'm going to do click on screen. And then see the preview right here. It goes back to normal. If I click on it, it does that. Simple. It doesn't seem to have any sort of uh, code you can do. It's all right there in the UI. Um, another thing that I really, really hate about this, other than the fact that it's real slow and real featureless I guess you could say is when you want to preview it now if you remember uh, I told you that if you click on the download Android version on this page initially it did not come up for me um, because what I did was I disconnected from my VPN and then I tried to connect normally and it said not allowed in this region so I had to still be connected to the VPN where it thinks I'm in another country. Then I scanned, I tried to scan this, it didn't work. I just clicked download and it downloaded the Android version for me because I have Android. It was an APK and I had to transfer it to my phone. I installed it, um, the software on there, and it wasn't that great either. Um, and the reason why I say that is because when you want to preview this on your phone, right? Just click to expand code. So it's going to give you a QR code. However, if you are not in the region that allows access to this program, like if I were to turn off my VPN and try to do this, it would say that I have no access in my area or I, I can't do it from the United States. So I have to still be connected to the VPN to use this, right? And then when I try to actually scan this in the Effector app, 
you're not going to be able to see it, but you heard the beep. Um, it says it scanned it, but it doesn't show up on the preview on my phone. Um, so it doesn't work. So not only do you have to be connected to the VPN while using it, I can't get it to work on my phone, my particular phone. So it's kind of pointless because you can't really preview it. And speaking of preview, uh, the preview window, like I have a still of a man here, but like you can also use video. You know, this guy's nodding. And remember, I had to click on screen and click and it does that. But that is pretty much it. I clicked on the webcam earlier. It doesn't bring up the webcam at all. So I'm going to make attempt to upload this. Now, again, you have to be connected to your VPN to do any of this, which is really, really silly. Um, but yeah, so I have not been able to successfully upload anything. But the bright side is this actually does exist. Now, I would go on to assume that eventually it will get more features and be readily available to other countries. Namely, the United States is where I live. But, uh, oh, look. This is the first time I've seen this. So I'm going to pause the video and log in. And I'm going to see. Oh, look, I can't even log in. Because when I click here, it doesn't even give me the option of doing the United States. Maybe I can. One. Yeah, so if I put one, because it's one in the United States, one, and then put my phone number, it won't even allow me to do that. So basically, this program now, as it sits, is pretty pointless outside of the, the regions that allow it to have developers develop for it. But I just wanted to show you guys, it does exist, can't really use it, but this is what it looks like and what it takes to get to this point. And even if I wanted to make something, I still can't do it because I can't log in to my TikTok account. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry this video dragged out. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.